Hi everyone, this is Mehul Mehta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been few few days I have not posted anything and the main reason is because I'm in India right now. So I was just spending time with my family. But you know, this session I just want to focus on what are the major competition that you will face when you are uh, applying for a master's degree in quantitative finance? Or, you know, I'll, I'll talk about one thing. I really want to address on one thing, which all of the all the Indian students must understand. So when you are applying for a master's in quantitative finance, be it USA, UK, Canada, or any other country. So people think that, you know, I should not discuss my profile with the other Indian student because he might capture some aspect of my profile and write in his application. One thing you guys must under understand is your real competition is not other Indian students. If you are applying for a master's in quantitative finance, if you see the cohort, it's proportionate with Indian students and Chinese students. So your real competition is not Indian students. Your real competition are Chinese students. Why is that the case? Chinese students are really good. They So in China, uh, people, students do pursue a bachelor's in quantitative finance or a bachelor's in financial engineering. Yes, that's right. In China, they do offer a bachelor's degree in quant finance or financial engineering. So the subjects that you are about to study in your master's degree, they have already studied those. Also, Chinese students are really good with uh, mathematics, statistics, and programming. Really good. I have a bunch of... So when I was pursuing my master's degree, all my Chinese... Uh, all my Chinese... Uh, like the students we had, you know, the Chinese students we had in the class, amazing. I mean, the sharpness that they had in concepts, uh, the clarity that they had is unbeatable. So point I'm trying to say is if someone is trying to help, if if you really want to stand out or if you really want to get a good admission in, um, uh, in USA, discuss your profile with other Indian students. Try to understand how both of you, let's say you and your friend, can upgrade your profile, upscale yourself. You know, all the Chinese students, they have research papers in quantitative finance. Even if they do not have research papers, they will definitely have uh, internships, academic projects. What do you have? You guys are coming, all the Indian students I'm uh, referring to. You guys are coming from different bachelors altogether. I was a bachelor's in electronics engineering. Someone came with a bachelor's in mechanical. A lot of people from BCom, BBA, CA, uh, you know, are applying for this master. What do you guys have related to quant finance? Nothing. The answer is you You guys have nothing in your resume, nothing in your whole S, uh, application. So how is your profile strong? Your profile is not strong. And this is one of the core reasons why you guys are not able to make up into the top universities. If you see any top university, let's say Cornell, Columbia, you know, UC, University of Chicago, Baruch, uh, all those top, you know, UC Berkeley, what they have in common most of their most of the students you'll see first of all a lot of chinese students second of all even if there are indian students they are from tier one university iit bombay iit chennai iit kharagpur all those top iits and few nits i'm not saying that if you belong to a tier two or tier three university you can't make up make into uh, top universities i'm not saying that you can definitely make into and that's why i'm creating this video you need to make sure that you have a very strong profile. If you do not have things related to quant finance, build academic projects, do coursework, do boot camps related to do quant finance, do certification. And I'm not saying to pursue a uh, certification which are like 1 lakh, 2 lakh rupees. Of course, you as a student, even when I was a student, I cannot pay 1 lakh rupees for just for a certification. But find cheap certification, you know, 5,000 rupees. Uh, there are a lot of uh, Udemy courses, you know, which are on quantitative finance. Do those courses have certain projects uh, and have those in your resume? There are a lot of uh, boot camps that have been offered by different institutes. Uh, so you can refer to Quant Finance Institute. They offer this Quant Finance Boot Camp. In that boot camp, there are five modeling projects, Quant, Quant Finance modeling projects. Have Do that boot camp. I can attach those things in, in the description. So do those, do boot camps, which are affordable which are cheap see point is i'm not trying to publicize anything i'm just saying that you need to understand that when you are applying for a master's degree in quantitative finance 
make sure that you have relevant work experience academic projects research projects internship anything like that in your in your uh, application so a lot of times people ask me what if uh, my my undergrad gp is not good it's 7 on 10 and i want to target baruch now the issue here is first of all your undergrad GPA is low. You are not from a tier one university. Uh, you know, there are a lot of missing parts in your profile. You do not have anything related to quantitative finance. And now you are trying to aim not just the 1% of US, but the 1% of the world that those are like the best universities in the world. How can you target when you are coming from a weak profile, when you have a weak GPA, what can you do? This, these are the things, work on academic projects, work on research paper, try to find internship, full-time role. Make sure when you give your GRE, you score a 170 on 170. That's a full score in the quant section. So make sure, you know, you, when you give IELTS, you give a good, you know, you have or a TOEFL, you have good scores. So if your undergrad GPA is low, but if you have a good GRE score or a, to or a TOEFL IELTS score, that can actually compensate your low GPA. Point I'm trying to make is, see, I know you, you all of you want to secure top admissions in United States, UK, Canada, Singapore, Netherlands. But what do you have in profile? If you don't have anything in profile, I mean, then I would say getting into top university would be ambitious for you. But it's not impossible. That's why I said in next three to four months, make sure you build your profile because as of now fall 25 applications are still open after the after few months spring 26 a uh, few months spring 26 application will be open and then again fall 26 application will be open so make sure that you guys really work hard build a strong profile and then apply for your masters so i wish you all the best and i'll just you know if you want certain and if you want any help just put your uh, doubts in the section in, in the youtube comment box and i'll try my level best to help you all so thank you everyone for listening to me and i wish you all the best